Hey guys, what is going on today? It's Jake, and in this video is going to be some more secrets in the Call of Duty Zombies storyline. Some of you guys asked for it, so here it is. This is going to be some secrets that are unrevealed, that aren't plain and simple out in the open, that you actually have to think about, that people actually have a question to, they don't know exactly. I take parts of the storyline that aren't explicitly revealed, and if they're not explicitly revealed, it leaves secrets, questions, and that's why I'm here. If you guys have your own questions that are unanswered in the Call of Duty Zombie storyline, it could be any question. Stupid, if you think it's stupid, ask it anyways. If you've already seen your question in the comment section below, thumbs it up. The more thumbs up on a question, the more likely I'll answer it. And if you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like. To start these secrets off, I'm going to have one main topic in every single video, so it's going to be a main topic that I'm going to talk about the most. So let's get started. The main topic being who created the Sliquifier? This is actually plain and simple, but it could be a secret because in every single Call of Duty Zombie storyline or every map, there is a wonder weapon and there's a backstory to it. Someone created the wonder weapon, as in Dr. Max is creating wonder weapons, Rick Toffin creating wonder weapons, Porter X2 or Porter, all, all these scientists creating wonder weapons. So the question, who created the Sliquifier? Well, the simple answer is you did. The Sliquifier isn't technically a wonder weapon. The reason for that being is because you find all the parts. These parts aren't laid here for you. You find the parts specifically in this order and you put them together. You create your own weapon and that is explaining why you cannot pack a punch it because you cannot pack a punch a nav card. You pick it up. They're parts that you actually find on the map. So if you pick up all the parts for the slick fire, you obviously can't pick up and put random objects into the pack a punch. Explaining why a homemade built weapon from you cannot be pack a punch that is why you cannot pack a punch it but if these parts were left there for you and if it's not a wonder weapon technically what is the acid stuff well we don't exactly know but we could speculate of course so basically i believe that the acid was left there uh in previous times of whatever that building was the sweatshop it was used for some purposes and reasons that we have no idea but the acid was already there in the first place and we just so happened to pick it up and be able to use it so the next question that a bunch of people have and i got from somebody was why is G leroy from buried in the jail cell before I start off with this question, I need to explain something to you guys. There's this thing in the Call of Duty Zombie storyline called 115 Displacement. Basically, to say the least, to explain this, uh, it's very complicated, but to dumb it down, it t basically takes a time zone, takes a place such as Buried, a western town stuck underground that is impossible basically, but okay, just picture this, a town in what God knows what time will say in the early 1900s and uh, a time in Africa where the map takes place basically 115 uses its time travel capabilities and takes the whole urban western town in the 1900s and sticks it underground wherever that map may be okay so basically it doesn't matter if it's underground or not it's going to teleport it wherever it wants to and it just so happens to be in Africa underground. That's basically like saying I live in California, okay, I am just by the beach. But if you teleport me to the Rocky Mountains, it's going to keep me at the same elevation, but I am going to be inside mountains because the mountains are a higher elevation, but I am at a lower elevation. If I just change times, it's not going to put me on top of the mountains, it's going to put me right in the middle of the mountains. And that's basically what happened with the map buried so basically to answer the question is why is Leroy there well it's simply because he was in that western town when it teleported with 115 displacement so basically it, the town was obviously abandoned because Leroy is the only person we see it's haunted by ghosts uh, from the ghost town or the ghost house or the mansion okay so Leroy was there though for some reason that we have no idea of and he was surviving off of the food around there, candy basically, and he was, there were zombies there, so he locked himself in the jail cell to keep himself safe, and that is why he's there. The final question for today's video is, what was the Pack-a-Punch created for, and what was its purpose? 
Its original purpose is unknown, but the Vrilya, the people that are gods basically in the Call of Duty Zombie storyline that live in Argatha, created it. And the reason why the Pack-a-Punch in Origins is different is because that's the original Pack-a-Punch created by the Vrilya. And so that's why we have mimics of it on the map de Reese. So basically, the Maxis created the... Uh, different version of the Pack-a-Punch in Durice. It's not the same exact one. And it's his version of the Pack-a-Punch created by the Vrilya. What was its purpose? What, what was it for? Well, we don't know exactly what the purpose was for the Vrilya, but we found out in Origins that if you stick a weapon in it, it upgrades it and upgrades its capabilities and damage. Maxis seeing this, he created his own version and mimicked the exact same thing, just with his own parts. And that's why we're able to stick our guns in the Pack-a-Punch and upgrade them. Anyways guys, that is today's video. If you guys have your own questions or your own secrets that you have no idea what is happening in the Call of Duty Zombie Story Lane, leave it in the comment section below. Remember, if your question is already asked and you see it, thumbs it up. Make sure you guys li leave a like. It will make me want to make more of these videos for you guys. And make sure you guys subscribe and never miss a video when I upload it. Again, I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.